Uh, I'm Peter's fiance. Uh, he proposed, we've been dating now for about uh, five years. Peter proposed to me uh, on my birthday, 39th birthday in Mexico, which was really nice. <laughs> we really click together. We get along really well. Like we're just best friends. A little something. Injured? Uh, when Peter told me he was a testicular survivor, it was pretty much the first time we met. We started talking, getting to know each other. He was talking openly about it because he's very candid about it. I was in intrigued, I guess, like wanting to know more. It is an awkward subject. I faced a fear of mine for a fundraiser and I talked about my balls. That's liberating. Just phew, total room of strangers. Let's do this. <laughs> He's a joker more. <laughs> Likes to play pranks and bang. Can you hear me now? Ha, ha, ha. Next year is our big day, which is nice. So how many Swarovski crystals are we going to have to a get lot. for this frame? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Peter and I do talk about uh, being fathers, something we really want to do. And to have the option to have my own kids for me is something I look forward to. I did bank uh, the first time and the second time. So the issue of banking sperm Often we remove a testicle in an emergency. You still have one good testicle, but there may be chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or subsequent surgeries that will affect the other testicle. We highly recommend banking sperm, and usually it happens to young men, and they're not really thinking about having kids because that's something that's gonna happen 10 years down the road. If you have any inkling that you may wanna have children one day, then you should absolutely bank some sperm. We're gonna incorporate Greek elements, Italian elements, stagger it, maybe three, uh, four courses. So as far as I know, I'm out of the woods. I have no doubt in my mind I would be the most stellar dad. And um, there's all these little Peters just waiting. Rob and uh, Lynn. Okay. And it was just a phenomenal. Just I would like to get the face a little bit more feminine, maybe, you know, the nasal labial fold, maybe the cheeks, just a little, just to soften up a little bit. When I first went on a hormone replacement therapy, I thought that it was gonna fix everything. I was gonna get breasts and a pretty face and I was gonna call it a day. That's not really how it works. So we'll get started in about five minutes. Okay, great. I'll get you some vodka, I'm just joking, and there's some water. Get me a bloody Caesar with a glass of wine after that. I went to my doctor, had a conversation with him, and he said something that completely changed my mind. He said to me, you're lucky. You have a feminine body, you have a real pretty face, the hormones, get plastic surgery, do what you gotta do. And he said, don't kill your liver. For me, I think it was a positive thing. Hold on my hair. Okay. Oh, you always look good. Mm -hmm.